hi guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to fix no audio output device installed on your windows 11 pc or laptop so you just need to follow me so firstly what you have to do you just need to simply go to your start or search window and type over here run and after that press enter from your keyboard after open run window you just need to uh, type one command which is msttt.exe uh, minus id then audio playback then diagnostic okay so you just need to type this command so i will give you this command to my word description you can copy paste from there after that press enter from your keyboard now we'll get this uh troubleshoot audio window okay now what you have to do you just need to click on advanced option and make sure that this option is checked which is apply repairs automatically and click on next after that it will automatically detect and try to resolve your problem and as you can see it's showing like fixed so now check if your problem is solved or not if it is not then try out my next step which is right click on your start menu icon click on settings after open settings window click on system from your left side over here on your right side you will get an option called sound so click on sound now scroll down a little bit and you will get a more sound option settings and here make sure that your playback device is enabled which is in my case here it is as you can see so right click on it and click on enable and also right click and set it to default after that click on apply then ok once it will learn uh, check if your problem is solved or not if it is not then I will suggest you to go to your services just go to your start or search window and type services.msc and press enter from your keyboard after open services window you just need to uh, scroll down a little bit and you have to find windows audio okay so press w and find windows audio and windows audio endpoint as you can see here is two option so right click on it one by one and go to properties and make sure that it is automatically uh, set automatic and make sure that it is start and click on apply and also for audio endpoint same thing you have to do automatic and start then apply then ok after done you just need to close this window and check if your problem is solved or not if it is not then i will suggest you to reinstall your uh, audio driver for that you just need to right click on it right uh, click on your start menu icon go to device manager this time and after open device manager expand sound video and game controller just right click on your sound driver and click on uninstall device and click on uninstall after uninstall you just need to restart your pc and windows update will automatically install your audio driver from the scratch and also you can download your audio driver from the internet you can go to google and search for your audio driver and you can download and install it on your computer and after that it will fix your issue so i hope this tutorial really helped for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below i will see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care